Hi folks, Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Hey, we're coming here with a, uh, another review of a uh, interesting product. Now, I have a Blue Microphones Yeti Pro, as you can see before you. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and ordered from Amazon.com the Pop. The Pop's a universal windscreen for use with any of the Blue Mics on the planet. You simply clamp it onto the mic stand and position it where it is desired, and a sturdy wire mesh and frame ensure years of durability. The reason you have a pop filter, as they call it, is when you use letters like the word P or V or different words that pop a burst of air into the microphone, it can create a pop effect. So, uh, in your audio track. So, you use a pop filter. Now, this is kind of a universal gear thing, and on one hand, it looks really nice, especially from the front. The contraption that it uses to work from is a different story, uh, and I find it least impressive when it comes to that. Now, given there are different builds of the blue microphones, so some are built to accept this uh, pop filter looking much better and attaching much better than, of course, my Yeti Pro. It is a disappointment though, considering the Yeti, Yeti Pro is a top of the line sort of mic and they couldn't do a better job of thinking it through with the pop filter. So I was disappointed in that front. You can see here it adds a ton of bulk in the way that I've used it. Um, for the Yeti Pro. Now it does look good from the front, but it's got this weird curvature armature thing. There are many of the blue microphones that actually have a screw hole here for this to go through, and there was a little bit more thought process that was put into it at that time. But unfortunately for the Yeti Pro that I have, someone didn't think of that, I guess. So uh, it creates this weird armature effect. I could do some different things where I could pass it over the top and have it come down upside down over the front of the mic, um, which would kind of give it an interesting look. And of course, if I had this mic mounted to a, a holder that would hold it up in the air, uh, that might look cooler. Although there would be this huge uh, wire band here sticking out the top and going out on the back, but at least I could maybe hide this ugly bracket, if you will. Um, anyway, it's pretty interesting. It's only 30 bucks, so I'm not getting killed on it when it comes to the price. And it looks good from about this angle forward. I just wish this didn't take up so much bulk. Maybe I'll spend some more time to play with it to try and move this around the back, although it seems to be it needs a very flat side to sit on to attach itself fairly well. And usually around that corner is the only one to work. So you can check it out. You can go to Amazon and order, or you can go to bluemike.com. It's bluemike.com. Check it out. And you can check out all the other wonderful mics they make on their site. And of course, I'm more impressed with their mics than I am with their ability to make pop filters for them. So you can uh, take that for what it's worth. Thanks for coming by the Chris Voss Show. Give us a like, subscribe to us on YouTube. Be sure to check back in often.